Hi, welcome to learning about the eye. Um, the eyes are commonly referred to as the windows of the soul, but they are very much more. The first thing I'll go over is the anatomy of the eye, of what we see here. Um, the first thing you see is the whites of the eye. You know, we all see them right here. Um, Washington said, don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Well, the white of the eye isn't the actual technical term for it. Technically, the term for the whites of the eye is sclera. Now, the next part we can see from the outside is your iris. Your iris is the, the colored part. Some people have brown, some people have green. Albinos have red, due to the lack of pigment. Um, that is called the iris, and it is mostly for light restriction. It become, makes your pupil, the black part, smaller or larger to allow in larger or smaller amounts of light. Um, the part you can't really see unless you look at a person when they're like looking directly to the side is this clear lens over here, over your eye here, and that is called, that is called your cornea. Um, it's the first one that causes the first uh, step in light focusing. Now, the pre pupil here is just a black hole, and that's exactly what it is. It's a black hole. It is a hole in the outside of your eye, basically, to where you're seeing, technically, you're seeing the inside of your eye right now. Um, it's dark in there, so you can't see. Now, the next step, I'm going to need a little bit of a visual, so I'm going to grab an illustration from my one book. So, right here. Can everybody see this? Okay. Right over here is this lens area is the cornea, like we had went over, and this outer layer, the most outer layer here, is your sclera. Now, the inner layer here is your coronoid coat. It contains rods and cones, which control your vision. Um, rods are for light and dark, and black and white, and they're more numerous because they control your night vision, and you need that black and white vision to be able to tell anything. While the cones are for your um, colored vision. Um, there's a point in your eye right here, the fulva. Yes, that's right, fulva. Um, get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> um, it is a point where it has the most amount of cones. It is the point of highest focus sight. Now there's a spot right here in front of your optical nerve that contains no cones, no rods, no cones. It is a blind spot. Um, but we'll get back to that later because there's a cute little fact that I'd like to tell you about it. Now back to the front of the eye. Behind the cornea, we have a water-like substance in here. It's called aqueous humor. Aqueous, like aqua, humor. Now, this right here, this little squiggly thing, is your iris, or the colored part of your eye. Now, there's a little, like, um, opening there that allows this aqueous humor to circulate to keep your eyes wet on the inside. Now, behind that, Right here is the hole of your pupil. Right behind that is a lens. Now that lens is held up by ciliary bodies, aka ligaments. Um, that lens is basically there to continue to make the light focus onto the inside of your eye. Now all over the inside here is another humor. It's called Bertrius humor. Um, it m mostly maintains the pressure of the eye. Um, it keeps the eye shape. It holds the pressure. 
Um, there's also another layer right in here that if you dissect a eyeball, um, it would be this dark um, matter, paper thin matter, and it's called pigmented epithelium. It's basically a skin, a colored skin. Um, that's both mostly there to um, absorb the remaining amount of light that your eye isn't using for vision, so it doesn't just bounce around in there. It makes you be able to see well. Um, now back to the blind spot, which is my last little fact that I want to tell you last so you remember it real well. This blind spot here is in our vision at all times. It makes it to where we go and we can see everything. Like, take a moment, look around the room. You can see everything wherever you look, right? Wrong. Actually, there is a spot in your vision that your, bl your brain is kind of playing a trick on you. It's filling it in. You actually aren't seeing it. It is automatically filling it in to where you're thinking you see everything you do. And you don't. There is that spot there. Um, you could probably look it up on the internet. Um, for, uh, um, eye tricks or blind spots. And it would come up as a, it's like, they'll have two spots. Like, this far apart, I think it is. And you focus on this one and bring it from, like, a foot away from your face and gradually bring it closer. And at a certain part, at a certain point of far and close, suddenly as you're focusing on this, you can see the other dot suddenly disappear and it's nothing but white. Now that's because it hit your blind spot. And due to the surrounding area being white, your brain automatically filled it in as white. That spot didn't disappear. You couldn't see it, so your brain filled it in for you. So that was my last little tidbit on the eye. And just remember, they may be the window of the soul, but they're a whole lot more. Now I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little something, because if not, I just got to fiddle around with a camera. So hope you learned something. Hope this made your biology class a little bit easier. Now you know the basic anatomy of the eye and the basic purposes for everything. So good luck on your next test, okay? Alrighty, my next one will probably be on either bone structure or, or maybe your inner ear. I don't know yet. Let's see what I come with. Alright, have a wonderful evening, morning, noon, or night. Bye.